An astrologer explains why Bad Bunny and Kendall Jenner are compatible. To be uninformed of the Bad Bunny and Kendall Jenner's love for Escandalo, you'd have to be living off the grid. Even my Latino parents were perplexed and invested when this odd couple made the news. However, the prevailing consensus among young Latinos and Bad Bunny followers online appears to be disappointment. Witnessing Bad Bunny align himself with a family that appears to be disconnected from a knowledge of their privilege has been a significant letdown for many. While neither has publicly confirmed the relationship, dating rumors have been making headlines since February. And in August, the duo were spotted making out at a Drake concert. Many in the Latin community have been heartbroken to see in an artist who has, in many ways, felt like the gold standard of Latin representation in a relationship with someone from the Kardashian. Jenner family. Many feel that he has sold out. One of the reasons Bad Bunny became the Latino community's love was his steadfast refusal to assimilate or yield to industry pressures. It was the polar opposite of what happens when Latino talents break into the mainstream. Witnessing Bad Bunny sing in non-English at the Grammys, an English-speaking awards ceremony, for example, had to be a high point in our Benito fan timeline. That's because supporting the Puerto Rican artist felt like a statement of pride in one's ethnic background. So it's easy to see why the Latino social media universe goes insane with each viral video of Bad Bunny and Jenner interacting. It's an experience akin to the first time you see your ex with their new lover. It has left many people perplexed, triggered, and in need of processing. The Nitos fans certainly want to know, are Bad Bunny and Jenner truly in love? As a result, we turn to astrology to interpret the universal language of love in their birth charts.